Well, one of the most eclectic and impressive displays of aircraft at the Paris Air Show this year comes from Turkish Aerospace. Quite remarkable, the company is aiming to make the top 10 of defence contractors over the next decade. And we're with Professor Tamal Kotil, the president and CEO of the company. Great to see you again, sir. Thank you. This ambition to be in the top 10 of defence contractors, that's quite something, but you're going at it very quickly. I have 15,000 employees, all young. They're enthusiastic, they're designing, they're building, they're testing. So hopefully it's possible. The her jet on the beyond, behind us, inshallah, became the one of the nice pieces so I can start selling by 25. Now you're, you're getting these aircraft through the programs quite quickly, aren't you? We're expecting um, to be seeing some flying in the next couple of weeks. You're going to be, the new fighter jet will be out by the end of the year. Tell me about those programs. Yes, this is already flying. They're doing test flight. And uh, actually what, what's happening here, we are first growing company. Several projects, three fixed wings, six uh, helicopter projects, you know, rotor wing and UAVs and satellite. So I have a leader from the each sectors and about thousand engineers back him down up, thousand technicians back him down up. So they work like a separate company. This is why simultaneously we get all these nice products. But when we have the first flight, complete the certification, but important part is sell it and make money. Became the 10 largest, one of the 10 largest company on the earth. Now, can I ask you about your, your sort of sales approach, the markets that you are looking at? Are these, you know, nice new developing markets where people want things quickly? Yes, needs for the defense is very obvious in the certain countries. There are a lot of threat on the countries in Africa, in the Latin America, Asia Pacific. That's why they need equipments, you know, protect their countries. And Turkey also facing several problems on the regions. You know, our region is troubled region. And we have the terror of most centuries. And Alhamdulillah is fixed. This equipment, UAVs, help a lot. Not Turkish Aerospace, but other companies also in Turkey. So uh, the needs of Turkey and needs of Africa and needs of Latin America almost same. But uh, the, the winning part is actually you need to like your customer. Uh, it's common. You need to support them logistically and you need to help them to grow technically. You know, sometimes the customer with us, I show them A to Z. I mean, if you come, I can show you everything also. And once uh, the attache, military attache say, oh, guys, we can do this one also. Uh, yes, they can do that. We help them. And one of the big challenges that uh, industry is facing at the moment is a shortage of skilled staff. Now, you've been building up staff numbers. How are you generating that? How are you inspiring young people right. to come in and join your business? Right. In Turkey, there are a couple of mechanisms for this one. I don't know, you know about TechnoFast, led by the, the Selçuk Baykar, Bayraktar. It is the, actually the, the son-in-law of the president. Not because of son-in-law of president, but he's a very nice guy. And the, the, that's the fair every year in Turkey. This year happened three times, different cities. It's really attracting the, even the elementary schools. In my company, every day is a minimum three, maximum 10, full of bus students, elementary, middle, you know, high school, visiting us, you know. My company is uh, the, the major university in Turkey. We have our engineer working them, working inside, and the, the student coming uh, like an internship year round, they work for us. And also we are hiring students before graduation. In last year, they became part-time for us. When finished, they became full-time. So we, we have a mechanism to train technician engineer. And uh, Turkey is like a heaven, thanks to God. And uh, we hired last year 1,600 additional engineers. We are 6,000 right now. This means we shift our very call. Even in the COVID, in the 2020, we hired 400 people, no layoff. And this year already I get a thousand. So we have a mechanism to attract them, to train them, and they built these things. Fantastic. And my final question is on a particular program, the Khan. It's a very exciting, is it fifth generation fighter? When are we going to see that fly? Uh, 27 of the December this year. And uh, actually the aircraft is ready to fly. 
only the subsystem they need to improve a little bit more, flight control, landing gear, actuator, and this kind of things. But otherwise, aircraft are ready to fly. And we spend a lot of the time on the, the geometric design, aerodynamics, reflection, and the, the vis invisibility, so on. I think it became a good pieces. We're delivering 20 by 28 to the Air Forces. I think by 30s, uh, early 30s, it became a cutting gauge. Fantastic. Professor Gautil, thank you so much for your time.